yesterday we had started doing the chapter packing we had hardly read one paragraph right and that much we we only came to know that the narrator he wanted to do the packing all on his own but his main purpose was to boss over the job not actually to do anything so he just wanted to give directions and wanted that his friends would be doing the doing the basic manual job but it did not happen and the other friends agreed with him and went aside to relax on the couch or on the table and chair so the narrator was stuck in a position which he never ever wanted so second paragraph we are up to this was hardly what i intended what i had meant of course was that i should boss the job and that harris and george should potter about doing potter about under my directions i pushing them aside every now and then with oh you let me do it so there you are simple enough really teaching them as you might say so the basic uh, intention of the narrator was to teach harris and george as how to do the packing they are taking it in the way they that irritated me so what irritated the narrator you tell beta hmm? when you will be looking all about let's see whether you are able to give the answer why was the narrator irritated you tell hmm you know this boy has got two books to share one he can look at his own book then he can look at his that book also you cannot sit straight central boy straight and haven't you ever learned to look at the book in your life it's not a cinema hall but when you go to a cinema hall i guess you people just keep on looking at the screen so just focus upon your book only sit down i'm reading the line again and the question will again go back to you there you are simple enough really teaching them as you might say so you might say that i wanted to teach them how to do packing they are taking it in the way they did irritated me so the way they took my you know my idea what i am wanted but the way they took it that was very irritating to me so what was irritating can you tell hmm what was irritating for the narrator okay that boy hmm the way harris and george take or took the things took ha huh? what they did that is what i am asking you how did how did they take the things yes so basically the narrator wanted that those people harris and george would be doing the things but instead of doing the things they went aside and sat one sat on a sofa and the other sat on a chair and cocked his legs on the table so that meant that the that harris and george would be doing nothing everything would be done by narrator and this is what he never wanted so he got irritated because he would be working now and the friends would be sitting and relaxing and would be looking at him as if they are the boss is that clear still you people are looking around you people have got three things to see your books wall blackboard fourth thing me nothing apart from these things 
you can look at the boring thing wall if you don't like anything else or look at your book sit down there is nothing there is nothing does irritate me more than seeing other people sitting about doing nothing that when i am working so the most irritating thing for the narrator is to see the other people sitting and relaxing when he himself is working got it i lived with a man once who used to make me mad that way he would loll on the sofa and watch me doing things by the hour together he said it he said it did him real good to look on me look on at me messing about so the narrator is telling us about a man who used to do the same thing what narrator and what harris and george were doing today now i am not like that i can't sit still and see another man slaving and working i did not say anything but started the sorry so narrator says that i am not like that man which man which man the one who would sit and look at narrator working narrator would be working and he would be sitting and looking at him but he says i am not like that i would not be i cannot sit idle what his idea is that he would be giving directions to harris and george and he would be reaching up to them and he would be telling them like what to do and what not to do so he would not be simply lying on the couch or bed i want to get up and superintend and walk around with my hands in my pockets and tell him what to do it's my energetic nature i can't help it so yesterday we had read this much so narrator says that i am very energetic i can't help being very rejuvenated and full of energy is he really energetic no it's not being energetic when you are planning to only give directions to others got it however i did not say anything but started the packing hriday yes headache hmm however i did not say anything but started the packing so narrator did not say anything and he started the packing so what does it show about the narrator there was every chance of a fight there was every chance of an argument but narrator did not say anything and he started doing the packing all on his own right so what do what do you come to know about narrator from here just karan i am asking you question like what do you come to know about narrator from here yes you tell Hmm? what do you come to know about narrator from this line when he said i said nothing and started doing packing hmm speak louder yes good he ignored do you come to know that he ignores people my question is what do you think what kind of person narrator is okay that's okay good yes he likes to avoid arguments he doesn't seem to be very fastidious he doesn't seem to be a quarrelsome man okay ha huh? he is he he seems as if he's he accepts acceptance resignation let's see whether it is really so okay sit down boys just karan well done beta so narrator said i started the packing it seemed a longer job than i had thought it seemed a longer job than i had thought 
so narrator might have felt like it is very easy he will just have to put the things in the bag but it was a quite a long job it was going to be so but i got the bag finished at last and i sat on it and strapped it got it and you going to put the boots in said harris so when he finished packing when he strapped it and sat on it to have a sigh of relief then harris spoke up like aren't you going to put the boots inside and i looked around and found i had forgotten them that is just like harris he couldn't have said a word until i had got the bag shut and strapped of course and george laughed one of those irritating senseless laughs of his they do make me so wild so what happened when the narrator had finished packing then harris spoke up like won't you put the boots and narrator says like this is a typical of harris like idea harris would not say anything before the things Harris could have said the same thing when he was uh, about to strap the bag. He could have, but he said this in the end. Some people enjoy telling others when the things are over to make them feel that they are defeated. So that was typical, like that of Harris. So when Harris said this, then George laughed. and that kind of laughter also made narrator become wild means very annoyed very angry okay so i opened the bag i opened the bag and packed the boots in and then just as i was going to close it a horrible idea occurred to me had i packed my toothbrush so when he opened the bag and put the boots in and then just I, as i was close it i was going to close it i found it occurred to me that i had to pack my toothbrush also so again when he was about to close the bag he realized that his toothbrush was still out yes i don't know how it is but i never do know a horrible idea occurred to me had i packed my toothbrush i don't know how it is but i never do know whether i have packed my toothbrush so the worst thing was that he did not know whether he had put the brush or not if you know that you have not put it you can simply go and fetch the toothbrush and put it but if you don't even know whether you put or not then what could you do you'll have to search or you'll have to ransack the whole bag again okay my toothbrush is a thing that haunts me my toothbrush is a thing that haunts me when i'm traveling and makes my life a misery i dream that i haven't packed it and wake up in a cold perspiration and get out of the bed and hunt for it and in the morning i pack it before i have used used it and have to unpack again to get it and it is always the last thing i turn out of the bag and then i repack and forget it and have to rush upstairs for it at the last moment and carry it to the railway station wrapped up in my pocket handkerchief so toothbrush is something which is most yeah packing of toothbrush is the most terrible thing with him so you have read it a whole so he always number one forgets to pack it but at midnight when he remembers that he has not put the toothbrush then he packs it but in the morning he again wants it then he takes it out and then it he forgets to put it back so when he is just leaving the house then he again remembers to put it back and then he has to carry the toothbrush in his handkerchief right so toothbrush keeps on giving him huh miseries he becomes he remains miserable because of the toothbrush it haunts him day and night before going in for a journey 
of course i had to turn every mortal thing out now what is mortal thing everything mortal thing which is perishable so everything in this world is world is mortal so i have to take everything out of my bag and of course i could not find it i rummaged the things up into much the same state what is rummaged searching to search through some things raghav don't talk so when he has to see whether the brush is there or not he has to search the whole bag so i rummaged the things up into much the same state that they must have been before the world was created and when chaos reigned of course i found george's and harris's 18 times over but i could not find my own so when he would be searching the whole bag then it would be as if he is going to start from scratches so then he would come across the toothbrush of harris and george for 20 times 18 times but he would not find his brush even for once okay but i couldn't find my own and i put the things back one by one and held everything up and shook it then i found it inside a boot i repacked once more got it finally from where would he get the brush from the boots when i had finished so do you think this narrator is a very good he is very good in packing oh, hmm? so when i had finished george asked if the soap was in so when second time he would pack the whole thing then george would ask him like have you packed the soap i said i didn't care a hang whether the soap was in or whether it wasn't and i slammed the bag shut and strapped it and found that i had packed my spectacles in it and had to reopen it so when he would pack the bag then george would ask him if he had put the soap inside the bag or not then he would have become so irritated by that time that he would tell him that i don't mind if the soap is there or not and angrily he would strap up the bag and then he would remember oh my god i have put my own spectacles inside so without spectacles you cannot live for one minute so again he would unpack the bag and would take his spectacles out so it got shut up finally at 10 5 pm so finally the bag was done at 10 5 pm and then there remained the hampers to do what are hampers large baskets for carrying food so finally the packing was over and then he realized that now the hampers are left to be packed harris said that we should be wanting to start in less than 12 hours time and thought that he and george had better to do the rest and i agreed and sat down and they had a go so it it was 10 5 then one some part of the packing was over and still hampers were to be packed so then they realized that they had less than 10 hours or 12 hours so they had less than 12 hours to leave and they had to take rest also so they said now you leave it now we will do who we harris and george so narrator also agreed ki yes now i will sit you people work right and now let's see the kind of packing which will be done by harris and george narrator who is a little bit sensible fellow the way he was doing the packing that we all know now okay was it a sensible packing no now do we imagine a better packing by harris and george yes do you expect a better packing by harris and george let's see only then we'll come to know like what kind of people are these three yes last benches they began in a light hearted spirit so those harris and you know george just karan so these men harris and george they started packing in a light hearted spirit what is light hearted spirit very happily as if it's very easy okay without any tension they got up ki now we will do packing okay evidently intending to show me how to do it i made no comment 
I only waited. With the exception of George, Harris is the worst packer in the world. Narrator knew this. Like their light-hearted spirit will not last for a long time because he knew that Harris was a worst packer. George was a little bit sensible. And I looked at the piles of plates and cups and kettles and bottles and jars and pies and stoves and cakes and tomatoes, etc. So, so many things were to be packed. Do you think these people will be able to pack nicely? No, so narrator also knew this. So he kept quiet and felt that the thing would soon become exciting. So narrator knew that very soon he will have fun. It did. They started with breaking a cup. They started packing all those things by breaking a cup. They started by breaking. That was the first thing they did. They did that just to show you what they could do and to get you interested. So that was the, that was the best beginning of the show. Got it? So when they starting, when it is a very humorous show and when there is in the very beginning, there is a great, yes, this boy, where is your book? Hmm? You, it's not required. So, okay. So they started with breaking a cup. Then Harris packed the strawberry jam on top of a tomato and squashed it. So when you are keeping your strawberry jam bottle on a tomato, then tomato will get squashed. And they had to pick out the tomato with a teaspoon. Got it? So first of all, they broke a cup. Then they kept tomatoes there. Then on it, they kept a jam bottle. Tomatoes got squashed and they took that out with a spoon. And then it was George's turn. And he trod on. What is trod on? Stepped on. He put his foot on. He stepped, he trod on the butter. I didn't say anything. But I came over and sat on the edge of the table and watched them. It irritated them more than anything. So what happened when George stepped on butter? The narrator did not say anything, but what he started enjoying the show. And he sat on the table, not on the chair, to have a better look at the way they were doing the things. So they got irritated. And as for that, leave it. And as for the butter, I never... It irritated them more than anything. I could have said, I, I felt that. It made them nervous and excited. And they stepped on things and put things behind them and then couldn't find them when they wanted them. And they packed the pies at the bottom and put heavy things on top and smashed the pies in. There are most of the children to this side, they have hardly anything to do with the text. If I put a burlesque comedy over here, you know, on, on some screen, then these people would like that to TikTok comedies kinds only. Then they would have real laughter. But this literal, you know, literary laughter you cannot enjoy because you cannot read. Anyone sitting in the class without book from tomorrow is not allowed. Don't come to school when you cannot pack your bag. Is that clear? Clear? Last venture, where's the book? He has the book and he cannot look at the book. Stand up, you. Stand up. Yes, read out the line which I'm reading. What's the page number? Page number 86. Topmost paragraph. Page number 86. Now read.
see whether it is english book or not it is english book what's the name of the book behind check whether it is behind wait right. check whether it is packing chapter wait right. page number 86 now read speak louder page number 86 top most line boys are known for their good voice okay manly voice and i and in this much of small room i can't listen to you hmm kya this is it okay huh stand properly yes now listen carefully and answer my questions five questions when you'll give answers then only you will sit otherwise keep on standing so the narrator it irritated them more than anything lavanya what irritated them yes very good silent clap for her yes sit down so the so harris raghav you can leave the class you need not come to school number one you come so late and then when you come you are to the talk only stand straight hands at the back side come on yes now listen carefully raghav might not be knowing any answer am i right you know okay tell what irrit what irritated them wrong answer lavanya gave the answer just one minute ago so what irritated them ansha yes that jerem was sitting idle and was looking at them that was irritating okay when you are making a mess when you are doing something stupid and when the other person is looking at your stupid stupidity then you get irritated okay so how they did the things and they stepped on things look at the books they stepped on things underline this underline they stepped on things and put things behind them underline and then couldn't find them when they wanted them and they packed the pies at the bottom and put heavy things on top and smashed the pies in i am saying underline what does it mean page number 86 when i say underline why don't you underline you have they upset salt over everything they upset salt over everything means they spilled salt over everything and as for the butter and as for the butter i never saw two men do more with one and two pence worth of butter in my whole life than they did what did they do with the butter so what they did with that much of what butter that no one can ever imagine let's see what they did after george has had got it off his slipper they tried to put it in the kettle see so first they trod on butter then he removed the butter from his slippers and then tried to put it in the kettle it won't go in and what was in won't come out so first he would not be able to put the butter inside then what went inside he could not take it out 
they did scrap it out at last and put it down on a chair does anyone keep put the butter on chair but anyways they did and harris sat on it and it stuck to him and they went looking for it all over the room i so what happened what they did with the butter harshit harshit ana ye ana ha ha fir kya kiya chair pe rakh ke they did so many things with the butter first they stepped on butter then they took out butter from the slipper then they put it in the kettle then they took it out then they kept it on chair then they sat on it and afterwards they will start searching for it okay okay Yeah, yeah.